Hello YouTube, Glenn Anderson here, and welcome to episode 29 of the Road to the £700 Deadlift. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go through uh, today's session. Uh, so we're going to do the videos first, and then please stick around to the end of the video where I'll do a little analysis, and I'll explain to you, like, the different exercises and what I'm doing and why I'm doing. Um, I recently had someone... Um, ask me like um why it is that i'm doing certain exercises and the benefits of it and um how i basically select whether i'm going to go heavier or whatever or lighter and what determines what in this so yeah i'm going to try and cover a few questions at the end of the video so uh yeah let's uh take a look at the footage and go back and see what i did and then uh, i'll answer some questions at the end Yeah, it's gonna be 
right okay so uh first we're going to start off with the deadlift so uh this is essentially week six of the new block and i elected to go a little bit uh lighter today on the main deadlift okay so reason being basically is uh the first week i did 200 second week 225 third week was 240 uh, the fourth week was 255 and then last week which was the fifth week of this block i did 270 for two and then 272 and a half for two so for five consecutive weeks i've gradually upped the weight and as i've done so i've tried to um, make sure um, that the deadlift is moving well and that the reps are easy um, as soon as it becomes a grinder then i know that it's um, gonna be probably time to back off a little bit um so i've done five weeks basically in succession where i've gone heavier and heavier and i don't want to keep going heavier and heavier for too long so i've elected this week to drop back to 232 and a half and yeah just did five emom uh, so hopefully next week i'll be able to go back up again and pick up where i left off and then just keep progressing it until hopefully at the end of this block I'll be ready for the 320 um, but I'm not going to go for it until I'm absolutely certain someone asked me um, when I'm going to max out and go for this 320 so I don't actually have a specific date as such but hopefully yeah but by, by the end of this block so hopefully in the next four or five weeks um, I should be ready but I don't want to go for it until I'm certain that I'm going to get it if I can move like for example 300 for a comfortable double then it's going to be a pretty fair bet that it's going to be there um if i, I was like, if i can do 300 for two but i feel like i could have done three then yeah it's almost a certain that it's going to be there so um yeah we're going to build up to it in the coming weeks and see how i get on um after that did uh paused deadlifts um an exercise i've never actually done before uh so just started at 187 three sets of three um when it comes to like skill work like this you just want to do low reps three reps is absolutely fine because when i'm pausing on the concentric i've got to concentrate and make sure i hold that position for the two to three seconds i have done pause deadlifts before but i've done them on the eccentric but this time i'm doing my pause deadlifts on the concentric which is uh, from the floor when i'm um lifting weight off the floor rather than pausing on the way down which is the eccentric okay uh, after that did good mornings um lighter weight last week i went up to 185 so this week i dropped down and only went up to 145 same with the pedley rows instead of doing 170 ish or something i've only gone as far as 140 so that's for the compound lifts where i've just gone lighter just to help with fatigue management and all that but moving on to the other assistance exercises lap pull downs hack squat um line leg curls and biceps with those exercises i've elected to continue to push it reason being is because they're smaller muscle groups and as a result they will recover quicker you know i can i can go harder on lot hamstring curls i can go harder on biceps it's not so much of an issue with that because they are smaller muscle groups so i can push that a little bit um, also i pushed it harder with the hack squat because last week was my first week doing the hack squat and i built up to 70 for 10 and yeah it felt comfortable so i thought okay we're gonna do 80 this week and i went in and done 80 and that did actually feel substantially harder actually so instead of jumping up 10 20 kilos at a time like i did last week instead of that i just went up very slowly two and a half kilos each time and ended up on 87 and a half for 10 and it, it's getting harder now yeah but um i do feel like i can still progress on that so i might keep it in um now with regards to the biceps you'll notice um sometimes when, when i'm curling and lowering and all that i'm not always lowering slowly reason being is because this is not bodybuilding and i just want to get the weight with the biceps so um i'm just going for it basically and i don't mind a little bit, bit of body english if i have to um biceps are good for training with strong man because they can help you with tire flips and various and atlas stones and various other um strong man events 
I never used to train biceps for a longer time, but recently I have found their value actually, and I have started training biceps because if you've got strong biceps in a strongman event, there's gonna you're gonna have less chance of injury if you've got strong biceps. So again, this is not bodybuilding. You, you, you know, I'm. I mean, there are some times where I probably will slow my reps down on biceps, but because I'm just trying to strengthen the biceps, I'm aiming just just move that big weight and strengthen their biceps. So. Um, you know, for people that have asked me sometimes um, why well, I'm not lowering slowly, that's why, because I'm just chasing the weight with that, really. This is not bodybuilding. So, uh, yeah, just look, I just want to get the weight on it and 29 kilos today for 12, so quite happy with that. Um, so, yeah, I've, and that pull downs and all. Uh, last week I did 82 kilos for 10, went in and did 89 for 10, um, and it was a little bit tough, but yeah, it's definitely room to progress there. So um, yeah, like I, said, I don't mind pushing it with the exercises that are smaller muscle groups because like I said, they recover quickly. But bigger compound lifts like deadlifts, good mornings and penalty rows and all that. This week I kind of like backed off the weight a little bit just for that recovery. Um, so yeah, I think that covers anything. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will try and get back to you. I normally requ reply quite quickly, so yeah. Um, yeah, if you've got anything you'd like to um, ask, um, please do so in the comments below. Um, if you're new here, um, please take a moment to subscribe. And um, if you'd like to see more of this journey and all that, please take a look at my other videos and all that. This is the 29th edition now of the Road to the 700. And hopefully it gives you some good insight as to my training and how I'm going to push to get that um, 700 pound deadlift. Um, once I have made the 700 pounds i will actually make a video on it and go into more detail about my training and all that because i have had people ask me um, various questions about training and stuff and all that and i'm going to try and put it all in the video to hopefully help you guys out i mean even if you haven't even even if you haven't even deadlifted 600 if you're like at 300 and you're aiming for four or you're 400 deadlifting and you're trying to get your first 455 deadlift you know hopefully that video will still help anyway so um that's it for now. I'm going to sign off. But yeah, keep your questions coming and um, I'll see you soon for the next video.